today been a good day, man. Finished up all my driving hours. It's Tuesday. We still got a little ways to go. You know, like I said, I always, I've been in the green on everything, 100% on the driving. You feel me? And now I'm officially 100% on everything on my skills. The six brake tests that you have to take. And if you mess up at all on these brake tests, then that's an automatic fail. You have to know like all of the different ranges for these different um, gauges on your dash. The dude forgot to put his seatbelt on. He just got right in the truck and honked the horn. So that failed him. One dude, he got in the truck, he had his phone in his pocket, failed him. So it's like really, I ain't gonna say really small stuff, but it's small stuff that can get you to fail. I, I had a doctor's appointment today. They said my blood pressure was a little up. And um, my pops was telling me, he, he went with me, and he was telling me like, yeah, it could be due to stress. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of stuff going on, and it could be stressing you out. That's the word, birds. It's y'all boy, Food Dog, with the vlog. And we back at it with another epic banger. Man, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like the video, comment down below, subscribe. Hit that all post notification bell, man. We at truck at school. Y'all see what's going on? Yeah, hey, nah, it ain't no time to waste, bro. We gotta go. Yep, yeah, uh, today been a good day, man. Finished up all my driving hours. It's Tuesday. We still got a little ways to go. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. This is my last week. Definitely testing on Monday. So it's all good, man. Um, got some business to take care of with Pops real fast. We was going to go up there and check on the car. I don't know if we still going or not, but I'm going to go and uh, handle this business. And I'm going to update y'all on how today went when I get to the house. So make sure y'all stay tuned, man. Like I said, today, Tuesday, last week of trucking school, man. So I'll holla at y'all. All right, family, I done made it home. Had a little long day today. I had some ripping and running to do, so I ain't get a, a chance to come straight home. But uh, today is Tuesday, like I was saying earlier. Um, I got a chance to finish up. Um, everything that i've been working on in regards to uh let me turn this way everything that i've been working on in regards to getting myself all the way at 100 i was at um 88 on my parallel but uh i did it again today um the last time when i was at 88 percent, i was kind of confused on my reference points you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I kind of didn't know where I was looking, but I still knew what I was doing. So um, today, you know, like I said, I always, I've been in the green on everything, 100% on the driving. You feel me? And now I'm officially 100% on everything on my skills. So I've been doing real well. Man, family, my battery want to die, so I done just brought it in the crib. I hope it still lasts. But um, yeah, so I've been doing pretty good, man, in regards to all of my little stuff that I had to take care of in order to um, to go ahead and take my test. Um, I do definitely need to do some studying and brushing up on everything that I know. But for the most part, I feel pretty good. Um, I got to uh, definitely study some more on my NCAP. Um, so basically how the test goes, you got the, you got the NCAP test and you also have your air brake check test and then you got to do coupling and then you got to do a pre-trip and then uh after you do those you do your skills and then you go on the road so you got the camera steady dying i had to switch batteries but um in cab i think that i'm i'm all right um and then that leads into the brake test so you got three brake tests you have, well, actually you got more than three brake tests. You have your, you have your trailer, you have your tractor spring brake tug test. That's number one. Then you have your trailer spring brake tug test. That's number two. Then you have your combination service brake test. Number three. Then you have your applied pressure test. Four. Then you have your um, low air pressure warning light and buzzer test. That's five. Then you have your 
nah pop out test. That's six. Six break tests. And you. So basically, all of the stuff, the the all of those six break tests are um they are um fail, pass or fail. So if you mess up anything, then you fail. Um what's up, babe? Oh, it went well. I'm gonna call you back um after I'm finished shooting this vlog, okay? Um, so yeah, those are the six tests that you gotta take and um the six break tests that you have to take. And if you mess up at all on these break tests, then that's an automatic fail for you. And those six tests, automatic fail. Um the stuff that you got to do before that, which is the in cab, um, you got to let them know that you know everything that's going on inside the cab, um, like your air pressure, uh, gauges, your uh, voltmeter, your uh, oil pressure. Man, family, my camera is tripping. I don't know why. It didn't cut off or nothing. It just stopped recording. That's so weird. But you have to know all of the you have to know like all of the different ranges for these different um gauges on your dash and then you also have to know um like all the different components inside of the truck so all of that stuff is points and then you move into your brake test which is pass or fail so you have to nail that right you could forget some stuff on the points. I highly suggest you don't, but you could, and it ain't gonna fail you. But if you you forget some stuff on the brakes, definitely getting failed. And then um, the skills. Uh, one of the dudes failed because he didn't put his seat belt on and then honk the horn. So basically, you drive the truck straight back. You get out and look, make sure it is where you want it to be. You get back in the truck, put your seat belt on, and honk the horn. That means that you completed the test. You happy with the results. The instructor look, he see, okay, cool. You go on to the next step, which is your offset. The dude forgot to put his seatbelt on. He just got right in the truck and honked the horn. So that failed him. One dude, he got in the truck. He had his phone in his pocket, failed him. So it's like really, I ain't gonna say really small stuff, but it's small stuff that can get you to fail your test you know what i'm saying and i want to just make sure that i'm all the way on point i was talking to one of my brothers today one of well one of my homeboys he definitely one of my brothers for sure and he was telling me um um like you know one of his actual blood brother him they did the, the uh class together and he was saying how his blood brother um when he he did everything good and then when he went out on the road which is the last test so you got the in cab then you have that brake test which is the six uh different brake tests that you do and then you have the coupling and then you do a pre-trip check so he went through all of that and then you got the skills so he went through all of that and then he got to the road and when he went out on the road he forgot to put his uh shift selector down his splitter and um he stalled the truck so once you stall a truck, you hit a curb, you mess up on a brake test, all of these things are automatic fails. You know what I'm saying for you. So it's ridiculous. Um, I, I had a doctor's appointment today. They said my blood pressure was a little up. And um, my pops was telling me, he, he went with me, and he was telling me like, yeah, it could be due to stress. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of stuff going on and it could be stressing you out. You know what I'm saying? And I was telling them like, well, I don't think that the stuff that's going on in my life is actually necessarily like bad stress. And he was like, your body don't know the difference between good or bad. It just know it's under stress. So that's what's been going on. I guess I'm a little worked up, but I definitely, definitely do got a lot of stuff going on. I haven't even gave y'all the, the real news yet. I got some some stuff going on so i'm gonna definitely fill y'all in on that in like the next um week or two y'all probably might have it by the end of next week or the week after that at the latest but you know it's just it's stuff going on in my life that i'm trying to make sure that i 
you know, take care of and and everything is all happening at one time. So it is a little bit overwhelming, but my middle name, you know what I'm saying, is Diamond and ain't nothing built in this world more tougher than a diamond. So my bae always tell me, you know, pressure makes diamonds, bae. So, you know, I know that I'm I'm built for the pressure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to make sure that I take care of it however it got to get taken care of. And, um, yeah, I'm going to be all right when it's all said and done. Like, you know, I ain't tripping on none of it. I'm going to just make sure I take care of it. So I'm not tripping. But it is some stuff that's going on. And um, normally when I am under stress like this, I just smoke some weed and I haven't been able to smoke no weed because I'm in school. I'm doing this truck and stuff. And, or, you know what I'm saying, I might go to the gym and I don't got a car right now. So I can't make it to the gym to, you know, so I don't even know how I'm dealing with this stuff. Even though, you know, there's people out there that go through way worse stuff and they actually got like some type of crazy stress on them. But you know what I'm saying? Um. You know, I'm just dealing with it. You know what I'm saying? However it is. So, you know, that's one thing that I won't do is is not deal with it. I'm just making sure that I take it one day at a time and make sure that I, you know, do the best that I can. Man, dude, I do not know what's going on with my camera. I'm going to have to check this bad boy out. It just stopped the video again. But somehow, some way, the stuff I always just end up working out. And I ain't going to say somehow, some way, because I do pray every single day. And I read my Bible and different stuff like that. So I do know that there is somebody who is on my side and he making sure that I'm all right in all of the stuff that I got going on. So I'm very thankful to have him. That's God. And he 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 just got my back. So I'm not tripping on nothing. So that's good. But um, yeah, man, that's just what's going on with y'all boy Flu Dog with the vlogs, man. I'm finna charge these batteries up and put this camera down before I get frustrated because it keep tripping. Um, if y'all new to the channel, make sure y'all like the video, comment down below, subscribe, hit that all post notification bell, man. Today has been a wild day, but it is going. I'm blessed and thankful to be alive and well, my family to be alive and well. And you know, even though the doctors say that my blood pressure a little up and my pops say that it could be from stress, so basically, I'm going to just, I ain't going to say I'm stressed, but I guess that's what it is because I'm too young. I don't know. But he was saying, you know, even though I'm under a little bit of stress, I know I'm going to be all right because at the end of the day, I'm always pray and he going to say it today, man. So that's just what's going on, man. It's y'all boy Flu Dog with the vlogs. Like I said, if y'all new to the channel, make sure you like the video, comment down below, subscribe, hit that all post notification bell so you can be notified when your boy Flu Dog with the vlogs drop a vlog because I've been dropping them daily and I don't plan on stopping, man. So make sure y'all stay tuned. I'll holler at y'all on the next one. Love and peace. Peace.